we've been doing. And I'm gonna sing in my new song, Rock and Roll! Hello, everyone! Dad! Bobby! Hello, son! Hey! Well, well, haven't you grown? <laughs> Honestly, Dad, I stopped growing years ago, but I wasn't expecting you till the summer. I know, but I had a little free time. I wrote to tell you I was coming. See, here's the letter. Oh, uh, you know, it might have helped if I'd mailed it. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Oh, it's great to see you. Really? Yeah, yeah it's great to see you, Bob. Dad? Come on, let's go and have a cup of tea and catch up. Good idea, son. Wendy's out on a job with Lofty. I'll give her a call. That's great. But I thought now that you've retired, you like being at home with Mom, puttering around the garden and doing odd jobs. I do, Bobby, but to tell you the truth, I get kind of fed up with not having anything to really get my teeth into. Oh, well, it sounds like you need a nice little project to keep you busy. Uh, oh, I'll just get that. No, no, you sit down, Wendy. I'll go. You don't have to do that, Dad. Gives me something to do. Hello, Bob's building yard. Doctor Who? Oh, yes, well, of course we're interested. We? You better come right over. Absolutely. No problem. See you soon. Goodbye. Who is that, Dad? Oh, it was Dr. Mont something or other from the Heritage Watson. Wants to talk to us about a castle. A, a castle? castle? Yes, yeah, sounds very interesting. Anyway, I just remembered. I bought some presents for the team. But, Dad, wait a minute. Oh. What does he mean? Talk to us about a castle. Hmm. Comedy, 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 comedy! Charge! Charge! Oh, great! Slimy, slimy! Hey, that's really neat! <laughs> <laughs> now, I hope you don't have this tape, Dizzy. They told me it was just out. <gasps> My pleasure, Dizzy. And this is for you, Rolly. Great! Thanks, Bob's dad. Uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> You're going to love this. <laughs> now, back up. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's naughty! Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> Just a minute, you two. Let me give Scoop his present first. Oh, fantastic! Thanks, Bob's dad! To me! To me! <laughs> Here we go! Oh, yeah! And she's blowing up the field and... Oh, hey! Oh, 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 heavens! Nice catch! I'm really sorry. I didn't see you there. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. I've forgotten about it already. Sorry about that, dear. Boys will be boys. <laughs> I'm Dr. Florence Mount Fitchett from Local Heritage. Are you Bob the Builder? Yes. yes. Bob's the name, building's the game. Dad? Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting my manners. Uh, this is my son, Bobby. Um, hello. And he's a builder, too. Taught him myself, you know. And this is Wendy, a partner in the business. Oh, uh, hello, Dr. Mount Fitchett. Hello. And the rest of the team is Scoop. Hi. Rolly. Nice meeting you. Buck. Hello. Lofty. Uh -oh. And Dizzy. It's me. Hello. Hi, Doctor. Hi. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Um, Hi there. Um, oh. What an impressive team, Bob. <laughs> Aren't they, though? Well, we better get down to business. Let's go into the office. Follow me. Thank you. She thinks your dad's Bob the Builder, not you. I know, Wendy. She'll soon realize. I'll just clear a space. Come on, Pilchard. You're going to have to move. <laughs> Cheeky rascal. Oh, poor little baby was having a nice sleepy weeby, weren't you? Aren't you a pretty little kitty catty? I'll take these, okay? She's a beauty. Look, Bobby. Wow. Now then, that's the gatehouse and the portcullis. They're still in a fairly good state. And look how thick those walls are. Yes, to keep out marauding enemies. Oh, what battles this castle must have seen. Archers raining arrows down on the merciless invaders. Prisoners thrown deep in the dungeons. Dungeons? 
Wow! I can't wait to see them! Ah, uh, well, unfortunately, the entrance to the dungeons was lost when the keep got destroyed at the end of the last century. Oh. Such a shame. But as you can see, there's lots of other work for you to help your father with. That's right, Bobby. Plenty to do. But, Dad... Everywhere will need to be made safe for the public. Walkways, barriers, floodlights, that kind of thing. Of course, safety first. Now they've been singing your praises at Local Heritage, Bob. Say something, Bob, or she's going to give this job to your dad. Don't worry, Wendy. He'll tell her that they meant me. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. Don't you worry, dear. The job's as good as done. Oh? Dad? Now that's something, isn't it, Bobby? Yes, it is. Phew, there's a lot to do. Imagine me getting a big job like this for us. You did say I needed a little project, Bobby. Yes, Dad, but there's nothing little about a castle. It's a challenge, son. Come on, T. Guys, you can't get in yet. We need to build a bridge first. Oh! Where's the old one gone? Well, Dizzy, the original drawbridge rotted away a long time ago. And who dug this big ditch? Yeah, it makes it really hard to get into the castle. Yes, well, that was the whole point. This ditch is called a moat. It was full of water in the olden days. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Exactly, Lofty. Well, team, we'd better get started. Muck, I'll need you to go and get the wood for the bridge. On my way, Bob's dad! Hold it, Muck. We need to order it first. And measure up. Good point, Bobby. So, you should get on to the suppliers. Um, do people really live here? I mean, there's no roof or anything. You take this end, Wendy. Careful backing up. Are you holding that tight enough? I think so, Dad. That's it, Wendy. Thanks. I'll call JJ and order some... Oak, son. It has to be oak. Yes, Dad. I know. Um, so what kind of people lived here? Soldiers, mainly. The bravest of whom were called knights. And I'm Lady Mixalot. Oh, uh, what could I be? Uh, what about <laughs> Sir Liftalot? Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Mark? Who's that? I think you'll find she's called Lady Dump a lot now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going on a quest. Well, you got that right, youngster. You can go to JJ's and pick up the oak now. Hey, I have a quest! I have a quest! Godspeed, fair lady. Be brave. I bid you farewell. Farewell! <laughs> work to do back at the office. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah! See you later! Bye, 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 Dr. Bye dear! Bob, I've made a list of all the jobs I think we need to do. Um, do you want to check it? On my way! What? Whoa! Are you alright? Oh, never better, son. Wow! This place is great! I'm the king of the castle and not a dirty rascal. Hello, Bob's dad. What are you doing down there? Afternoon, young spud. I was just, um, checking the moat. Really? Can I help? Oh, thanks, but we have all the help we... I mean, yes, spud. I'm sure Dad could really use a helpful assistant like you. Spud's on the job! Interested in castles, are you, spud? Oh, yes, yes, yes and a yes! Well, I'm sure Dad will show you around. But if I do that, who'll be in charge? <laughs> Where are the dungeons? I want to see the dungeons. <laughs> Bob, why does your dad think he's in charge? Yeah, he's being Sir Boss a lot. It's a long story, Scoop. Well, Dad's a dad. He's used to being the boss with me. He forgets I'm grown up. Well, uh, I'm sure if we give him little jobs to keep him busy, everything will be fine. To run, to run! Lady Dumbelot has returned! Well done, Muck. Okay, everyone.
Yes. Once that was raised, the knights in shining armor would ride out and do battle. You made fight and stuff. Oh, yeah. They galloped toward each other. On horses? Yeah, and tried to knock each other off with long poles. It was called jousting. That is so cool. I bet if I'd been around in the olden days, I'd have been a champion jouster, you know. Sir Spot-a-Lot, the Super Jouster strikes again! Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. I know! I'll get myself a horse and some armor and, uh... What else do I need to be a knight? Sorry, Spud, I have work to do now. But I need to know more if I'm gonna be a knight. Well, I bet if you went to the library, they'd be able to help you with armor and so on. Aha! Uh -huh. That will be Sir spot lots quest! Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Hmm. I'm sure I could get this working again. Probably needs a little oil and maybe some... Yes. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Squad, where are you going? Whoa! To the library. <laughs> the library? But what about helping my dad? Ah, uh, yeah? Port Cullis hasn't been lowered in years. <laughs> well, I'll take care of that. Darn it. Dad, where are you? Are you all right? Up here, son. Kind of an accident. I was having a look at the portcullis machinery, see, and... Don't you worry, Dad. We'll get you right down. Lofty, over here. We need to rescue my dad. Sir, lift a lot to the rescue. One, two, three. Lift! That's it, sir, lift a lot. Sorry, son. Come on. That's it, Wendy. Pull harder. Take the string. That's it. Oh. Oh. Are you all right, Dad? Yes, son. Fine, thanks. The portcullis works just great now I fixed it. Okay. What's next on the list, Wendy? Oh, um, are you really sure you're... Oh. Hello? Bob the Builder? Yes, this is Bob the Builder. Oh. The other one? Hold on. It's for you, Dad. Oh, hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, dear, Bob. We need to get your dad away from the castle and give him a job he can't get into trouble with. Stamping. Oh, for goodness sake. That was Dr. Mount Watson wanting a progress report. I told her how well we were doing. Oh. Okay, Bobby. You'll need to help me get the walls shored up now, and maybe Wendy could see to the maze. Oh, um, actually, Dad, do you think you could have a look at the maze? But what about the walls, Bobby? That's quite a job. Yes, I know, but so's the maze. And you're a dab hand with a pair of hedge trimmers, as I remember. Ha <laughs> ha you're not wrong there, Bobby. You're right, Wendy. There's a lot to do in here. Sure is. Yes, please, Wendy. It's thirsty work. Well, everything seems to be going smoothly now that your dad's got a job to keep him busy. Yeah. Well, like you said, he can't get into much trouble in the maze, can he? Help! Help! <coughs> oh, no. Spoke too soon. Help! 
Help! I'm stuck in the maze! Bobby! Can you hear me? Help! Dad, where are you? I don't know! I'm lost! I can't get out! Hold on, Dad! I'll get Lofty to lift me up so I can see where you are. Lofty! Lofty! Could you bring my safety harness, please? Uh, coming, Bob! Thanks, son! What do you think of my hedges? Very nice, Dad. I've lost my touch, have I? <laughs> Sir, lift a lot to the rescue. Uh, again? Dad's lost in the maze. Can you lift me up so I can see him? Oh, uh, okay, Bob. Over here, son. Okay, Dad. Walk toward me and then make a left. Got you, Bobby. No, Dad. Left, left, your left. That's it. Now right. That's it, Dad. Straight ahead. Yes, and right again. You're getting there. Oh, this could take some time. That's it, Dad. Keep going. Almost here. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Boy, it's a maze of pathways in there. They all look the same. Yeah, I know, Dad. I think it's time to go home. Good idea. Okay, everyone. Time to call it a day. Huh? Can you get the phone, Dad? No problem. Hello? Well, hi there. <laughs> I'm having such a great time. I can't wait for you to see the castle, Dot. I hope you and Bob aren't working too hard. Don't you worry. You know you mustn't lift anything heavy, Robert. Yes, but I think I'll have to stay for a few weeks to see the job through. You are eating properly, aren't you? Not just sandwiches, I hope. No, but... And wearing your thick socks. Yes, but Bobby won't get the job done without me. Of course not, dear. Say hi to Mom for me. Bobby sends his love, and we'll call you again tomorrow. All right, dear. Night-night. Bye, hun. Um, Dad... I think we need to have a little talk. Oh, well, as you think, Bobby. Now, I don't quite know how to put this, Dad. You see, well, it's just great to see you. I mean, you're always welcome. You know that. And, well, it's it's just... Uh, I'd be able to get on with the job a little better if... Well, if you weren't, you know, taking charge so much. Tomorrow, you'll have to let me be in charge and get on with things on my... On my... Dad? Oh, Dad. <laughs> Morning, dear. What remarkable progress you made yesterday. Oh, thanks. We, and today um... we'll get even more done. Can I have a look at the list, Wendy? Oh, uh, um, yes, I suppose so. Now, let's see. Wendy, you and Dizzy can finish the mortaring. Rolly, you need to flatten the turf, and the rest of you but can... But, Dad... Don't worry, Bobby, I haven't forgotten you. I want you to make a start on clearing all the overgrown bushes. Dad, I don't think... It's all right, Bobby, I'm going to help you. Thanks, Dad. Oh... Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Whoa! <laughs> oh, how can I tell him without hurting his feelings? Just been showing Dr. Thingamajig the portcullis. She was very impressed. What? Oh, uh, really? Yes, and now I want to show her the plans for the visitor center. Where are those notes you made last night, Bobby? In my lunchbox. Mm. But, Dad... Those were my ideas. Oh, oh, brother. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going to tell him. What's this? A door. I wonder if Dr. Mount Fitchett knows about this. Oh, if I don't find my fiery charge, charge uh... of Chris. <laughs> Silly cow. Uh, a little stuck. Uh. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Looks like dungeons? Dungeons? But... Oh, I've dreamed of a moment like this since I was a girl. Come on, Bobby. Let's take a look. After you. I'm right behind you. Whoa, it's kind of dark down here. I'll go and get a couple of flashlights. Oh, the 
the scenes of drama that must have unfolded down here. These walls just shriek. History. Oh, here's your father with the flashlights. Thanks, Dad. Now, whatever you do, don't shut the... door. Sorry, son. Force of habit. It's all right, Dad. You didn't know there was no handle on this side. Oh, this looks like a way out. Uh-oh. Looks like we're kind of stuck, doesn't it, Bobby? Oh, but it is exciting, isn't it? Just think. We can convert these rooms into a cafe, or a conference room, or even a waxwork museum. Oh, I can't wait to tell local heritage. Dad? Yes, Bobby? Look, I... Dad, could you stop calling me Bobby? Sorry, son. I didn't realize it bothered you. You should have said something earlier. I know. And it's not just that, Dad. It's... Oh, how can I say this? Well... You keep taking over the job. But you keep letting me. I thought it was what you wanted. But I didn't say anything because you seemed to be really enjoying yourself and I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I am enjoying myself, but to be quite honest, I was feeling a little out of my depth. But I didn't want to let you down. But you took charge right from the start and let Dr. Mount Fitchett think you were Bob the Builder. Oh dear. There seems to have been a little misunderstanding. Just which one of you is Bob the Builder? He I am. Is. Oh. I'm sorry, Bobby. Uh, Bob, I didn't mean to take charge. It's just, well, old habits die hard, I suppose. It's okay, Dad. Anyway, it's both our faults. We need to be honest with each other from now on. Uh, it's a deal, son. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's just like you know. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Thank you. Now. We better think about how we're going to get out of here. I know. I'll call Wendy on my cell phone. Great idea, son. Oh, it's no use. There's no signal. The walls must be too thick. What should we do now? <laughs> I don't know. You're the boss. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. All right. Why don't you have a look down that passageway? On my way. And I'll go and bang on the door and see if I can make someone hear us. Mm -hmm. And I'll come with you. Oh. Boy. Hmm. Oh no. We're never going to get out of. Ah! Oh boy. Now what have I done? Bob's going to be mad at Wow. Is anybody Behind there? this door! Oh, it's no use. I think the door is too thick. We better go and see where Dad's gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! And in one bound, he was... stuck in the rotten maze again. Bob? Bob? Where is everybody? Shivers down my spine. Oh, can't I get anything right? Oh. Dad! Dad, where are you? Right here, son. Oh, how wonderfully spooky. But, but how did you get there? Oh, my word. Well, son, you won't believe it. But I leaned against part of the wall, and it just spun around. I found this staircase and went up it, it and... It could only happen to you, Dad. <laughs> and that led to the maze, and, um... I'm afraid you're not going to like this, Bob. Oh, no. Now what's happened? Well, I had to think quick. Oh, Dad, what have you done? Oh, well, come on. You're bound to find out sooner or later. <laughs> Look at that! Look what he's done! Oh, oh no! What's Bob gonna say? <laughs> oh, silly, oh, silly! Oh, no! Did he do it oh, on purpose? Oh, no! Bob's not gonna like it. 
it! Oh, Dad! Oh, I know. I've let you down. Oh, it's... 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 I'm really sorry. Oh, it's wonderful. Just look. There's a knight in shining armor. Is there? <laughs> oh, so there is. <laughs> That's Sir Clipped a lot. But Dr. Mount Fitchett, the maze, it's... Well, it isn't exactly a maze anymore, is it? No, but this is so much, much better. Don't you see? With a little work, this will be the most magnificent example of topiary ever seen. Um, what's topiary? Well, it's when you trim a tree or a bush into a special shape. I finally got something right. I'd better get clipping again, huh? <laughs> yes, Dad. We'll need the hedges shaped like kings. And queens. Yes, and damsels in distress. Oh, and an archer with a bow and arrow. And jesters. And, um, have we left anything out, Dr. Mount Fitchett? Oh, joyful. It's a medieval celebration. <gasps> Do you know, Bob? You've given me a wonderful idea for the grand opening. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Finished. Well done, everybody. Yeah. 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 I'm proud of you, son. Well, things did go much better after we had our little talk. And I backed off, like I should have from the start. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Dad. Aw. Oh. Come on, let's go home and call your mother. I can't wait to see her. I'm so glad you could be here, Mom. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Doesn't it all look lovely? I'm so proud of oh. my boys. <laughs> well, it was teamwork, Dot. You can't beat it. Hey, Bob, we'll have to line up another little project for next year. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one, won't we, Wendy? <laughs> we will. I hope you haven't been making a nuisance of yourself, Robert. He hasn't, Mom. It's been great spending so much time together. And I think they both learned something about each other. Hmm. Anything to do with who's in charge? You know us too well, Mom. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, Dorothy, it's just great to see you. Friar Bentley, I presume. Have you met the fair lady, Barbara? Very nice to meet you. You too. Roll up, roll up, get a your many pizzas. I'm not sure they had pizzas back then, but maybe they did. <laughs> See, oh. the medieval juggler juggle. <laughs> That's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> That's very clever, Mr. Beasley. <laughs> oh, whoops. Keep practicing, dear. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Beasley. Fair maiden sigh as the knights ride by their flags and... What on earth's that, dear? She can shatter a glass at 50 paces. <laughs> Look out! Here comes Sir Spotify! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Spudlot's on the job. Oh, Spud, you're such a ninny. Bob, Robert, over here. Come on, you two. You can be the crowning glory of our medieval pageant. Which one of you will be the king? Oh, um, you be the king, Dad. No, son, you'd make a better king. No, you would, Dad. No, but... Come on, you two. 
Make up your minds. Okay, then. Obi King. A decision at last. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son, huh? Oh, I have to get a picture. I'll just get the camera. Oh, yes, you should. <laughs> oh, Bob, you look so silly. <laughs> I, King Bob of Fix a Lot, knight thee. Arise, Sir Dad a Lot. Oh, long live the king. Long live the king. See, Bob's dad, we really need to find oh. a good builder. Do you know anyone? Well, as a matter of fact, I know just the man. You do? Do you think he'd like the job? Absolutely. When do I start? You? You want the job? Oh, that's great. I'll call Bob and see what he thinks. I have a better idea. Let's surprise him. Oh, Bob and Wendy will be so pleased. Uh-huh. They sure will. Can you get here tonight, Bob's dad? I don't see why not. Great. I'll get Bob and Wendy together. Okay, Scoop. I'll be there at 7 o'clock. Bye. See you. Okay. I need to get Bob here, and I don't... Great to see you. Huh? Where did they come from? Hi, Bob. What do you mean? I thought you wanted to see me. No, you wanted to see me. <coughs> uh, I think there's something going on. Hello, son. I've come about the job. Dad! I can't believe you didn't ask me. But you're retired. And you didn't think your old man might want to help you out? Once a builder, always a builder. But what about Mom? Well, we've talked it through, and I think it might be fun to come back and live in Boxville. That's fantastic. Well, that's sorted out. But how did this happen? Your team wanted you back together again. Scoop's worked really hard to surprise you. Thanks, Scoop. This is the best surprise ever. No problem, Bob. I've missed being with everyone so much. And they've missed you. When do I start? How about tomorrow, Dad? Imagine you being a full-time builder again, Robert. <laughs> can I fix it? Yes, I can. <laughs> and you're sure you're happy about all this, hon? Well, hmm? there is one thing. Yes? I don't think I can live with this wallpaper, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. I'm really looking forward to being a builder again, Dot. I know, dear. And I have my first lesson with Wendy in the office later. I imagine things have changed a bit since you were last in an office, hon. Oh, yes. It's all gone, what do they call it? High tech. Whew, I'm starving. There you are, dear. And your father's making you some toast. Thanks, Mom. What are you doing today? I need to get back to Sunflower Valley as soon as I can. But first, I have to collect some materials for Wendy's new surprise trailer. Oh, I'll come with you, Bubby. Okay, Dad. Hi, everyone. Hello there. Good morning, dear. Hi, Wendy. Well, Wendy, today's the day. I know. I'm so excited about moving to Sunflower Valley. I'll show Dot how the office works, and then Jenny's coming over to help me with my packing. <laughs> Enjoying your egg, I see, Bob. <laughs> Nothing tastes quite like Farmer Pickle's speckled hen's eggs. I'm really going to miss them. I suppose it'll be a long time, dear, before you have fresh eggs in Sunflower Valley. Okay, team, our first job is to move the trailer. Bob told me it was very important that we put it to work. Nice and hard and flat. Nice. Morning. Oh, you look just like Bob, but with gray hair. <laughs> That's because he's Bob's dad. Oh, hi, Bob's dad. I'm Skip. Are you on vacation? No, Skip. I'm going to be working here from now on. I'm the new Bob. <laughs> well, the old Bob, but... <laughs> You're going to be seeing quite a lot of him. Oh, okay. Hi, JJ. I've come for my sun panels. Oh, okay, Bob. 
And this must be your dad. Bob's the name. Oh, you're Bob too, are you? No, I'm Bob. He's Bobby. Oh, Dad. Oh, look at all these catalogs. Here you go, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry. All the instructions and wiring are inside. Thanks, JJ. Well, we'd better be going, Dad. I have to get Wendy's surprise ready, remember? Yes, son. That's a great catalog. It has everything from hot tubs to hen houses. Oh, yes. Come on, Dad. Just a minute, Bobby. Your dad's slowing us down, Bob. He doesn't mean to, Muck. He's just enjoying himself. But we've got to get Wendy's surprise ready. What's left to do? Uh, well, we still have to go to Farmer Pickles and pick up some stuff there, load up the plants, pick up Pilchard's things, and drive all the way to Sunflower Valley. That's a lot, Bob. Will we get it all done? <laughs> I don't know, Muck. I don't know. I know, Scoop. We're with Farmer Pickles now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Promise. Over and out. And the eggs are all organic, you say? That's right. Nothing beats the taste. I don't know why more people don't keep chickens. Dad, I've got to go. Oh, dear, I'm in trouble again. I'd better go, Percy. You should come over for dinner with me and Dot sometime. I'd really like that. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. More boxes? Okay, I'll go and find you some. Yes. Uh, bye. Now what, Bob? Wendy's run out of boxes. We need to go to the recycling center and get her some more. What, now? Well, what are we waiting for? Thanks for everything, Farmer Pickles. No problem, Bob. I'll be over to Sunflower Valley later to choose the land for the Sunflower Farm. Oh, yes. That's really exciting. I'll see you there. Bye, and good luck with the surprise. This will be just the thing. That should be enough boxes. Good thing there's nobody here for your dad to talk to. I know, Muck. Now let's go. Come on, Dad. Dad? Oh, he's gone. Dad? Dad? Where are you? I'd better take these boxes to Wendy. Okay, Bob. I'll wait here in case your dad comes back. How am I gonna tell Mom that I've lost him? Tell your mother what, son? Dad! I've been looking for you everywhere. Sorry, Bobby, but I suddenly had this great idea. Well, Percy Pickles gave it to me, really. It's... Well, what are you talking about, Dad? Look! A hen house! So Wendy can still have eggs from Farmer Pickles' hens. That's brilliant, Dad. I brought your chickens, Bob's dad. Thanks, young spud. They look fantastic. Now, Henny, you be a good chicken and lay lots of eggs for Bob and Wendy. Oh, I'll miss you. Well, you can come and see them anytime, spud. Mom! Oh, I haven't had that much fun in years. Thanks, Scrambler. Anytime, Bob's mom. I'll take you off-roading next. <laughs> Where have you been, Mom? Shopping, dear. I'm going to make us all a lovely lunch. Oh, I'm really sorry, Mom, but I don't have time. I'm off to Sunflower Valley to get Wendy's surprise ready. I'm making a picnic, dear. Yes, but Stop I... Stop worrying, son. We're coming with you to help. Really? Oh, thanks, Mom and Dad. That's great news. Come on, let's get the trailer loaded up and get to Sunflower Valley. Stuff to pull, Muck! You're amazing! <laughs> I know. 
Oh, you're lucky you just have Wendy, Scrabbler. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna do some serious off-roading. Cool as a mule, dude. So, all set? See you later, Scrambler. In a while, Crocodile. Mike the Scoop, we're leaving now. Fantastic. Over and out. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Farmer, Farmer Pickles. Pickles. Hi, Hi, Travis. We've come to look for some land for the sunflower farm. Brilliant. Oh, can I come too? Oh, and me? Uh, well, Bobble. Here we are, Mom and Dad. This is my new home in Sunflower Valley. Oh, it brings back such memories. Yes, we've had some great times out here, haven't we? Well, I hope we'll have plenty more. Hello, Bob the Builder. Okay, Wendy, see you soon. Bye. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Hang on a minute. Where is the team? This looks more... from the sun, Bob. Well, Lofty, I'm going to angle these special panels toward the sun, and they'll collect energy from it. Oh, that's clever. Um, what things does it power? Things like the lights, the stove, the coffee pot, and the fridge. What happens when the sun goes down? There's a big battery inside the trailer there that stores up all the energy that the panels collect from the sun. Oh, so the battery powers things when the sun's gone. That's right, Lofty. Here you are, Henny and Penny. This is your new home. Oh, it's very cozy in here, dear. Here you are, Mom. One cup of tea made with sun power. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't taste any different. <gasps> that sounds like Scrambler. Quick, everyone. Wendy's coming. Let's make a line in front of the trailer so she can't see it. Everyone! Wow! Sunflower Valley rocks! Flower power! That is awesome! Where should I pitch my tent, Bob? Um, how about... Surprise! <gasps> is that for me? Yes! Everyone's help get it ready! Oh, that's wonderful! Oh, it's so cute! My very own trailer and... With a garden and everything. It's even got sun panels on the roof that make electricity, Wendy. There's some vegetables growing in the garden with lots of lovely flowers to make it pretty. And Dad has made a special surprise for you. You'll still be able to have your favorite eggs for breakfast. Thank you, everyone. I think I'm going to love it in Sunflower Valley. Here, chick, 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 chick. Bob wants eggs for his breakfast. It's okay, Scoop. You don't have to do everything. I know, Bob. It's just that I really like to help. Oh, thank you, hun. The best way to start the day with a nice egg. Oh, look, Robert. There's a job on the schedule for today. Oh, good. What is it? Robert, don't talk with your mouth full, dear. Sorry, hun. Hole digging and tree planting in Bobsville Park, Mr. Bentley. Oh, well, I've dug a few holes in my time, haven't I? Should be as easy as dunking my toast, huh? <laughs> Robert. Sorry, hun. What are we building today, Bob? I bet it's something really brilliant and big and important. Ah, good morning, Robert. Nicely on time, I see. Morning, Bob's dad. Uh, yes, uh, good morning, Mr. Bentley. Uh, Travis, are those trees for me? They are indeed your trees. And here is where I would like them planted. In a circle. Perfectly neat, wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. Perfectly. They need to be in the ground by the end of the day, you know. 
but I'm sure that will not be a problem for an experienced builder such as yourself. Well, I... Splendid! Let's be going, Travis, and leave this good gentleman to his work. Yes, Mr. Bentley. I'll be back later, Robert, to check on progress. Much later, I hope. My goodness, I had no idea the trees would be so big and so many. How on earth am I going to be able to get it all done by myself? Phew! Oh, boy, this is hard work. What I wouldn't give for a mechanical digger right now. Gotta hurry! Gotta hurry! Lots to do! Scoop! Scoop! Wait a minute! Well done, everyone. It's a great start. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Dad. Yes, of course you can borrow a scoop. Okay, bye. But Bob needs to be back at Sunflower Valley. Don't worry, Scoop. He can always call you on that ticky-tocky thingamajiggy. Oh, yeah. My talky-talky. And I could check in any time to see if they need me. Of course you can. Now, come on, Scoop. We've got some holes to dig. What's that thing you say again? Can we dig it? Yes, we can. I better hurry up and dig these holes. Then I can get back to Sunflower Valley and help them. Slow down. You keep going at that rate, you'll be too tired to help anyone. <laughs> Don't worry, Bob's dad. I can dig all day and never get tired. Just watch me go. Finished already, Robert. Seems like it was a good idea of yours to get Scoop to help. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. What it is to be popular, eh, Scoop? Everybody seems to want you. Maybe what we need is two Scoops. I'd better be getting back. Bob needs those floorboards. You can give me a lift to the yard on your way, Scoop. Thank you, Scoop. No problem, Bob's dad. Have to go now. Back to Sunflower Valley. You're not going anywhere, Scoop. You need a good rest. But Bob can't finish the job without me. You'll be no good to Bob like this. You're getting some rest and that's that. Oh, well, maybe just five minutes. <sighs> Mr. Bentley's right. Bob needs me at Sunflower If only there was another backhoe digger in Bobsville. <sighs> another digger. I wonder. Now then, four, three, five, four, five, nine. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, yes. Is that Bobsville machine, Randall? What do you think of this? Another dig. <laughs> well, Scoop, what do you think of this? Another digger. I just called the machine rental company and they sent him right over. It's great, Bob's dad. And what's even better, it's... it's Benny. You mean, you two know each other? You bet. Me and the big banana go way back. Big banana. <laughs> it's a long story, Bob's dad. Well, as Benny's going to stay with me and Dot, he'll have plenty of time to tell it to me. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> we don't need two scoops now, because we have Benny. Unre ah, ah, ah. And this is where we keep our materials, Mom and Dad. Sunflower Valley's really coming on, Bobby. Good thing your dad wasn't busy today. We couldn't wait to come and see everything. We've built lots of things, Boss Mom. Yeah, a house in a hill. And one in a cave. And one made out of straw. Rock and roll. And we recycle any leftover 
Scrabblers, which is totally awesome! <laughs> Scrabblers, right, Robert? Just look at this stuff. It's your old debris chute, Bobby. Yes, I haven't had much use for it. Be ashamed to throw it away, son. Oh, we won't, Robert. We'll just think of another use for it. Yeah, because we reuse, 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 reuse recycle. <laughs> oh, recycling, huh? How about that? Come on, I have something else to show you. Look, Box Mom and Dad, an eco house. All the heat and light in it come from the sun. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Robert, and this is Dot. We're Bob's mom and dad. Hello, Bob's mom and dad. Oh, sorry. They've only been here a couple of days, and they're excited. <laughs> oh, they're lovely, Marjorie. <laughs> yes, they are. But I'm trying to unpack. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bobby and his brother Tom are just the same. Always into everything. <laughs> really? They always got away with it, though. Especially Bobby, because he was so cute, wasn't he? Oh, Mom. Hello, Robert the Builder. Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. What's that? There's a huge leak in the Bobsville school roof. School's closed until it's repaired. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Bye. Oh, we only just got here. It's okay, Mom. Wendy and I can do it. That means the children can't go to school. How will I finish my unpacking? We can look after them for you, dear. Really? Oh, that'd be perfect. Thank you. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Bye. See you later. You know, Marjorie, Sunny and Saffron just need somewhere to play. Oh, what about a playground, Robert? Yeah, that's really cool. Rock and roll. What a good idea, Dot. Hey, I know just the place for it. Follow me. This is perfect. Yes. All these leaves make the ground soft and springy. So Sunny and Saffron won't get hurt. Yeah, when they're playing on all the awesome toys Bob's dad's gonna build. Toys? Oh, what kind of toys? Well, all kinds. Like the one I made for Bobby when he was little. Oh, yes. Oh, what was it, Bob's dad? Oh, uh, oh, I can't remember. I'll give him a call. Oh, coming. Oh, fooey. That's funny. No answer. Well, I'll leave you to it. I know. I bet it was a, a, a seesaw. No, I don't think that was it. No, no. Bobby and Tom never had a seesaw. Seesaw, we want a seesaw. <laughs> well, in that case... Wonderful idea, Muck. Really? Great! Can we use anything from the recycling store? Well, Muck, we're not really up on this recycling, are we, Robert? No, hun. Better stick to materials I know. Now, for a seesaw, I'll need, uh... <laughs> Seems to be working. Now, what was it I made Bobby? Give him another try on his thingamajig, dear. His cell phone. Oh, what now? Oh, not again. Nope, no answer. It doesn't matter. We're going to guess. Hey, I bet I know what Bob used to play on. A jungle gym. No, I don't think so. No, not a jungle gym. Oh, we want a jungle gym. Jungle gym. Oh, well, it would be fun. Can we recycle anything this time? 
Uh, well, it's just I don't know much about this recycling, Dizzy. Don't worry, dear. We have all those other materials. not the toy Bobby had, dear. No, I'll call him again. Oh! Oh, no! I've got it! Still no answer, hun. Oh, never mind. Just take a look at all the materials. That might give you an idea. Oh, uh, no, it won't. We've used them all. Oh, How'd that happen? Don't worry, dear. The children love the toys you have made. Oh, it doesn't seem that long since Bobby and Tom were playing like that. I know, hon. <laughs> uh, Dot, I remember what it was. Oh, that's wonderful, dear, but... There aren't any materials left. <laughs> oh, yes, there are. Come on, Muck. Hello, Mom. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, your dad's been very busy. He's built a playground. Oh, it's amazing. Wow, look what your dad's done. Yes, it's just like the one he built for me and my brother Tom when we were young. But missing one important thing, huh, Bobby? Have we got a surprise for you, Bob? Bobby, cover your eyes. Oh, okay. Take me up, Muck. <sighs> Dad, what's going on? Nearly there, son. Take a look, Bobby. Oh, wow. Isn't that Bob's old debris chute? It was, Rolly, but I've recycled it. Robert turned it into something else. Yeah, I slide. My turn, my turn. Woo! <laughs> Me next. Oh, man! Bob's dad is really cool! A slide made from a debris chute. That's right, son. Reduce, reuse, recycle, huh? Now, watch me go. Whee! <laughs> I've seen a few of those. Oh, yeah. And what of these? An eagle? Rock and roll? Oh, yes. Dad loves bird watching. You built that special place for bird watching, didn't you, Bob? That's right, Muck. A blind. Bobby and I are spending the day out there. I can't wait. Are there any special birds in Sunflower Valley, Bob's dad? Once, the lesser striped sunflower warbler was seen here. Oh! I'll bet you'll be excited if you see one of those. Oh, yes, Muck. But mostly, I'm looking forward to spending the day with Bobby. I just have three quick little jobs to do first. Wonderful. I'll be turning this off, too. A nice, quiet day in the country with no interruptions. See you soon, son. So... Come on, Scoop. We'll be done in no time. <laughs> oh, yes. This is the life. Oh, hello there. Now, what do I have for you? How about a nice hazelnut, Mr. Bushy Tail? And you want some lunch, too, do you? Uh, one for you, Flopsy, and one for Mopsy. Ha, my goodness, news travels fast around here, doesn't it? <laughs> Hold on. 
There you go. Half an apple for Spikey, another for, uh, Mikey. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Bentley. Sorry we're late. Oh, not to worry, Bob. It's only a tiny job. <laughs> then the elephant says, I'm ever so sorry. I thought that was your trunk. <laughs> oh, Robert, I am glad I dropped it. You certainly know some good job. <laughs> yeah, I must tell Bobby that one later. I wonder where he's gotten to. He was only fixing up Barbara's sticky window. Oh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Needs more coffee and cookies for us, huh? <laughs> oh, thanks, Bob. I'm sorry it took so long. No problem, Mrs. Bentley. We can get going now, can't we, Bob? Yes, Scoop. It'll be getting dark soon. Easily. So, the chimpanzee says, No, I keep it in the fruit bowl with my bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob's dad, your jokes are so funny. <laughs> Binoculars yet? Well, to be honest, Dizzy, what with lunch and reading the paper and chatting with you and Mr. Bentley, I haven't really had much time to look. <sighs> Besides, I think I'd like to take a little nap before Bobby gets here. Oh, Bob's dad! <laughs> I feel all neat. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. I was putting up a shelf and the whole wall fell down, and I thought the window was just stuck, and I had to redo the whole thing, and the arrow went through the yurt, and well, 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 I, I really let you down. Mm -hmm. what, 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 who's that? Oh, hello, son. Just in time. Just in time? But I've left you alone all day. No, I've had a real good time. It's not often I get to put my feet up these days, being so busy in Bobsville. Everything took so long, and now it's dark. Too late for bird watching. Who says it's too late for bird watching? In fact, it looks like just the right time. There, you see? Oh, Dad, it's beautiful. And very rare, too. A bird that only comes out at night. The lesser striped sunflower warbler. I've waited my whole life to see one of these, son. That's fantastic, Dad. I'm really glad I got to see it with you. Me too, son. Me too. You couldn't help how long things took. I know you wanted to be here with me, and that's what's important. Oh, thanks, Dad. That's all right, Bobby. In fact, it's just like seeing the lesser striped sunflower warbler. Good things come to him who waits. Team. I helped my dad build the house and yard in Bobsville. That was when I really learned how to be a builder. Whew! This is hard work. I never said building was easy, son. Can't we get a digger to help us? <laughs> Why? I've got you. Um, uh, excuse me? I remember when I first tried bricklaying. <laughs> I couldn't get the hang of it. Oh, whoa! It's just too thick. <laughs> you look like you're trying to lay bricks with lumpy oatmeal. I just can't seem to get it right, Dad. You just need a little more water, son. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna be a builder. Building is hard work, son. The only way to learn is to practice. Practice makes perfect. got quite a surprise the next morning. What the? What's been? <laughs> Good work, son. You can do it. And I never looked back. After a bumpy start, I took to building like a hammer to a nail. That summer, my dad taught me everything I needed to know about building a house, like carpentry. Oh, 
That's the idea. I learned roofing. Excellent. Tiling. That's not too bad. Guttering. Well done, son. Plastering. That's a good job. And painting. Nice work. Dad and I were a great team. And by the end of that summer, we had a beautiful new home. We did it. Now you're a builder. Just like you, Dad. I got you a present. My very own toolkit. Oh, thanks, Dad. I've been thinking, why don't you join me in the business when you leave school? Really? You want me to work with you all the time? I can't think of anyone better. I'm really proud of you, son. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. And from that day on, I wasn't just Bob. I Today's job exciting, Benny? Building a marshland walkway. Oh, it's fantastic, Bob's dad. I can't wait to. <gasps> Did you hear that, Bob's dad? This way. Pilcher, we've been looking for you everywhere. Well done, Benny. You're very good at finding animals. You have the makings of a great animal explorer. Whoa, one real banana peel. A great animal explorer. Hi, Dad. Benny. Hi, Bob's dad. dad. Hey, everyone. I found Pilchard. Hooray! Oh, thanks, Benny. I've been ever so worried. Bob's dad, what are those long things? They're old telephone poles. I thought we could reuse them. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. They're perfect for today's job. I'm getting the hang of that reduce, reuse, recycle, whatchamacallit. Okay, team, let's load up and head over to the marshland to build this walkway. Here are the plans for today's job. The walkway will go over here to the first big pond. And then up and over it. Oh, wow. Up and over sounds tricky. Yes, Muck. <laughs> we can cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we're building this walkway to stop our wheels getting wet? Well, I kind of lofty. Marshlands are full of animals and plants that do clever things. Look. These reeds filter and clean the water. Like the reed beds in Farmer Pickle's Orchard. Exactly. Animals come here for a good, clean drink. It's a great place to animal watch. Look, this marshland. It's a jungle. Unreal, Banana Peel. A jungle? Now I can be a great animal explorer. <laughs> Let's get started. Lofty, Muck, Benny, can you carefully clear a path out to the pond? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Watch out, jungle animals. Benny, the great animal explorer, is coming. Benny, what kind of animals live in a jungle? Ooh, really big ones, like tucks. I want to find real jungle animals. Oh, I'm stuck! Help! It's horrible! Oh! Wow! Look! It's... Oh, oh good. <laughs> oh, where are all the big jungle animals? Hello, team. Finished already? Yes, Bob's Dad. Great. We're ready, too. Let's lay this walkway. Ha-ha! <laughs> Walk this way! Nice work, team. Lofty, it's time to build the bridge. Yes, remember, up and over. Oh, um, I won't fall in the pond, will I? Don't worry, Lofty. We'll guide you carefully. There you go. Now. Drive slowly. That's it, Lofty. Left, left. Look! A crocodile in the pond! 
Crocodiles in Sunflower Valley. What an imagination you have, Benny. Yeah. Okay, let's cut another pole to size. Okay, team. Can you go get some wood for a safety rail? We don't want anyone to fall in. On our way, Bob! Hmm, <sighs> I'm no good at being a great animal explorer. Let's check it out! Now, we're ready to lift the new pole. Hey, where's Benny? He must have gone looking for that funny-sounding animal. Oh, no. We better find him before he gets lost or stuck. Benny, the great animal explorer. Mark? Uh, uh, hello? Benny! Benny! Oh, um, oh, what are these marks on the ground? Benny's tracks. Let's follow them. Right behind. No good. I'm lost. The tracks! They've disappeared! Where has Benny gone? Um, maybe he found a jungle animal. What jungle animal? <laughs> that one! Ah! Ah! Wow! A green spotty-eyed butterfly. Benny, we found you! I'm sorry I ran off. I really wanted to see a jungle animal. What's all this about jungle animals? You said this marshland was a jungle, and I wanted to be a great animal explorer and find jungle animals. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I didn't mean the marshland was a real jungle, Benny. I meant it was like a jungle, because it's filled with amazing wildlife. Look. Oh, lots of little bugs. Oh, wow. Oh, look. This stone is home to these bugs. Animals don't have to be big to be amazing. Some are small and perfect, like Ducky here. Oh, I've been a big silly belly. I've let everyone down. No, you haven't, Benny. You helped little Ducky here, didn't he? Hey, you're back. Benny found this duckling lost in the marshland. Oh, poor little thing. I Look after Ducky while you finish building the walkway. That's a terrific idea. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Good job, everybody. The walkway looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I think little Ducky wants to go home now. Oh, miss you, little Ducky. You can visit him whenever you want. Yes, and you won't get lost if you stick to the walkway. Um, Benny, you're his hero. And a really great animal explorer. <laughs> to live in Sunflower Valley. Yes, Scoop. They found out how wonderful it is here. Oh, um, but where are they going to live, Wendy? Don't worry, everyone. I've designed the Bob House. <gasps> it's a house that's really quick and easy to build. You just clip together the different pieces. Fantastic! Wow. It means I can build new houses really quickly. <laughs> clip! Clip! Clippity-clip! <laughs> Still, before you clip the pieces together, you have to make them. And I've only just started. Aren't the new people coming this afternoon, Bob? Don't worry, Scoop. Shouldn't take too long. Hello, Bobby. What's all this about a Bobby house, huh? It's a Bob house, Dad. Not a Bobby house. Oh, yes, of course, Bobby. Oh, wow. That looks clever. I see. It all just clips together. Tell you what, son. Why don't I start clipping the first house together while you make the pieces you need? That'll save you some time. Huh? Clip, clippity clip. This Bobby house will be up before you know it. Let's start building the front wall, Wendy.
at me. I'm carrying a whole house. It's just a part of one, Packer. You can get the rest coming through. Can we clip it? Yes, we can! Morning, Mr. Bentley. What do you think? Morning, Robert. Very nice. It's Bobby's design, you know. We're building quite a few of them. Yes, uh, I've asked Mrs. Bentley to do a survey. A survey? The people who are coming to the valley arrive at the Dome Visitor Center first. Mrs. Bentley welcomes them and asks them what kind of house they would like. She's just emailed me her findings. But surely everyone would love to live in a Bob house. Oh, yes, of course. It's just, uh, doorknobs. Doorknobs? Hello? Bob the Builder? Hello, son. Uh, a little hold up with your Bobby house. Bob house, Dad. Excuse me, Robert. It's your doorknobs, Bob. Our survey says people like door handles better. They're easier to use, you see. And have you thought about having a sliding door rather than an open and shut one? Again, people do like them, Bob. No problem, Mr. Bentley. Door handles and sliding doors it is. Dad, can you send the front section back, please? Oh, of course, son, but, uh. Um... It's important, Dad. I want the Bob House to be just right for everyone. Okay, here's the back wall. I just finished it. Off you go, Packer. Well, Mr. Bentley, my Bobby's done the trick this time. Ah, yes. Very easy to use. Hmm. What's the matter, Mr. Bentley? The windows. They're kind of square. Nothing wrong with nice square windows. Uh, the survey says people prefer round windows. More peaceful to look through. What do you know? Done. What about the other parts, Bob? Oh, I know, Lofty. I've been so busy changing everything. Oh, don't worry. You can help now. I've almost done the side walls. I'll finish off the staircase. Great. And I'll work on the roof. Look at me, little rabbits. I've got nearly a whole house now. Good job, Bobby. Oh, yes. That's very peaceful. But uh, now, uh, about those stairs. Stairs? Yes, they're very nice stairs. However, the survey says that most people prefer spiral staircases. More uh, twirly-whirly. I see. And they also like window boxes. Yes, but... And this doorbell. Apparently, people prefer a good old-fashioned door knocker. But, Mr. Bentley... Bob's already way behind. If he does all these changes, he'll never finish all the parts he needs for the other Bobby houses. Uh, it's Bob houses, isn't it, Bob's dad? Don't worry. I'll just go back to the yard and help. Can you give me a lift, Scoop? Hold on tight, Mr. B. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could help Bobby out. And maybe I can. Goodness, Bob. There's just so much to do. There's even more now, Mr. Bentley. Maybe we don't need to do everything people want. But we do, Mr. Bentley. I want the Bob house to be just right. Clip on doors with door knobs. Clip on window boxes. Clip on balconies. Clip on cat flaps. Clip on roof windows. It's still going to take a long time, though. I don't know, son. I think everyone's so excited about these new Bobby houses. Bob, Bob houses, Bob's Bob Dad. Dad. That they won't mind lending you a hand. Of course we'll help. We'd love to clip everything together. That's what Sunflower Valley's all about, isn't it? Clip, clip, clippity, clip. <laughs> Let's get busy. Okay, everyone. 
Pick which parts you like, so you get the Bob house that's perfect for you. Look at me, rabbits. I have lots of houses now. Pack me up and watch me go, go. Dad, it's going to save a lot of time if people can help put their bob houses together themselves. Yes, son. You'll be able to concentrate on coming up with more clever ideas, like your bobby house. Oh, bob house, Dad. Oh, you're right, Bobby. I mean, Bob. I mean, Bob. Oh, you'll always be Bobby to me. I think you're right, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>